<laughs> Hello, can you briefly introduce yourself? I am Philip O'Kane. I am Irish. There are two islands off the coast of the Netherlands. England and Scotland and Wales are attached to it and a smaller island further to the west, Ireland. That is my country. So even though I speak English as a mother tongue, I am not English. And what is the reason of your visit to UNESCO IG? On this occasion, I am coming to UNESCO IIG to receive uh, a great honour, uh, an honour which um, raises my spirit, which, is, which I feel in my heart, which is the honorary fellowship of an institute where I have been associated with uh, for almost 40 years. And um, what is your academic expertise in which you've been associated yes. to this institute? Wa hydrology, water, hydroinformatics. They're the areas that I have taught uh, as a guest lecturer in this institute. And um, what are the areas that you have been uh, teaching here and why has that inspired you to teach in the first place? Well, in the first place, I, I, I am currently retired from my uh, full-time position, which was Professor of Civil Engineering in University College Cork, which is part of the National University of Ireland. Uh, in my home university, the majority of students were from my own country, um, and I understood them um, from the same culture. We had some international students, but the dominant culture was that of my own country. Every year when I would come to IHE, I would meet the young people of the whole planet in all its diversity, people from every continent, um, always extremely courteous, um, welcoming, and uh, I enjoyed every year lecturing to them. And um, since also tomorrow will be the graduation day where 155 Masters of Science will be graduating uh, from over 30 developing countries, is there anything you would like to, to, to share with them or give them any um, inspiration, words of wisdom uh, to continue their professional <laughs> yes. career? Yeah, that's a huge challenge. I don't believe that there is a single uniform recommendation to all of them because they come from different cultures, they come from different hydroclimatic regions, um, they come from different kinds of economies, uh, some richer than others. So they will have to seek out with an, with an open intelligence the opportunities that arise for them uh, so that they can make their contribution to making the lives of the people among whom they live better, especially the young and especially women. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you very much.